I'm David Christopher Lee, Editor-in-Chief of Destination Luxury. I first met Master Romeo at a party in Los Feliz at designer Su Wong's house. After seeing his work, I was so impressed that I had to interview him and tell his story. When he was five years old, two Tibetan monks arrived at his door and said he was the 17th reincarnation of master Tibetan Tonga painter, Arnico. He's the only living artist with works in the British Museum and also has work displayed in 70 museums all over the world. What is your inspiration? My paintings are mirror images of your higher self, your spiritual archetype. I mean, I try to explain your higher self with colors and shapes. And what mediums do you use? It's water-based, but it's, see, we don't have a art supply shop in Tibet. So we have to make our own colors. Blue comes from ground up lapis. Red is from cinnabar. Yellow is from sulfur. Gold is actual gold. Silver is real silver. So it's all ground up in rose. And how long have you been painting for? Hmm. When I was five, I was found as a 17 reincarnation of a monk artist. How, how did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some monks, two monks arrived in the morning. Says, you know, we're looking for our master. This first painting is uh, the chakras. That's like the spiritual anatomy of our human self. So like our physical self, we also have an energy body and they are known as the chakras. They are like the energy points. So this painting depicts the chakras of ourselves. Next one is the cosmos of Green Tara, the Divine Mother. You can see the gold sign shimmering, that's actual 24 karat gold. And here you have the five Dhyani Buddhas. White Tara, Goddess of Active Compassion. Kubera, Prosperity. Vishina Vijaya, like the Mother Earth. And Green Tara herself, with the four different goddesses. And the Healing Lotus. She is the Divine Mother that heals us from all different mishaps in life. In my spiritual journey, I came to a realization that we are all one in different karmic bodies. So we all came here with a different purpose. That's what makes us unique and different. And to find the purpose in our life, Makes you a star then. So, here's her again. White Tara, goddess of active compassion. She's my favorite deity, as you can see. She's also known in China as Kuan Yin, the Bodhisattva of active compassion. Mm -hmm. People ask me, how would you explain her energy? And this was to show that her heart chakra and her crown chakra, she's got an open heart. And you can see with the light when it catches the heart chakra and the crown chakra opening. So this is really the goddess of active compassion in action.
at her again. That's Buddha of boundless light, Amitava. When he saw so much suffering, he cried. And from one of his teardrops, Waitara was born. Mm. Mm. This is a painting of Buddha Mitava with his heart chakra open. When he saw so much suffering, his heart transformed into a compassionate heart. And from his heart chakra, light emitted like compassion to the whole world. Um, 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 um. Um, this is another cosmos of Vaita. So this is the mandala of Vaita within a mandala. the goddess of active compassion. Magic happens. The world transforms. And this is a painting of Green Tara, the goddess manifesting everywhere. And like you notice, all the deities are no longer in their personified, individual form, but all in oneness. You notice the leaves, and this is now the medical painting. Medicine Buddha. When the enlightened one saw so much suffering in the world, he called court of all the Hindu gods of healing, all the Tibetan masters of healing, all the Indian herbalists, and all the bodhisattvas, and held court. So this is Waitara, Kuan Yin, goddess of active compassion. So this painting shows that when you are compassionate, you're actually vibrating the energy of compassion. Tu Sung Tu, Buddha's mind, body, and soul. To be brief, it explains that it is the sacred union of the father and the mother, the yin-yang that creates this universe. And the whole mantra is written in the back. Mm, in gold and silver. Buddha Amitava, Buddha of boundless light. So this is once again Waitara, goddess of active compassion. And all around you have all the Buddhas. The message of this painting is that it's the goddesses that gave birth to the whole human race. Every single Buddha 
every single one of us came through the mother's womb. So to bring balance and harmony and peace in the human race, I think we as a human race have to again learn to respect the Divine Feminine Mother. In his right hand, he brings the healing lotus to the human race. So if you go to Tibet, you'll hear the mantra of Omani Padmam echoing through the mountains. And this is what the mandala, the cosmos of Shingreji, Om Mani Padme Om, Bodhisattva of all active compassion. Bodhisattva of compassion. This is who Dalai Lama is believed to be the incarnation of. Maitreya, the coming Buddha, the compassionate one. Here you can see him seated like a western on a chair rather than a lotus position. Mm -hmm. That enlightenment is really just a, another concept, another way of seeing things, another perception. When you are enlightened, you see everybody enlightened. When you have a Buddha mind, you see everybody Buddha mind. Like I was explaining, everybody is enlightened. We just forgotten it. That when you understand that your physical material body is made up of five elements, represented five five different colored Buddhas and you realize that you are really not your body, but you are a beam of light, you become enlightened, you turn into light. Destination luxury. Well, tell me about destination luxury. Destination luxury, it's all about luxury all around the world. It's about, it's about art, it's about culture, it's about hotels, restaurants, fashion, all the finer things in life that we all love to oh, enjoy. Wow. Wow, fantastic. And we're, we're so happy to have you featured on our site. Oh, wow. Well, for 16 lifetime, I live like a celibate monk. You know, doing oh, 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 from morning 4 o'clock till night 10, 11 o'clock. This lifetime, I want to have a party. <laughs> you know, I'm coming from a point of view that you really don't need to be a hermit wearing orange, living in a hermitage, to be spiritual. You can be driving a brand new Mercedes or a Rolls Royce, living in a luxurious home like this, and still be spiritual. Spirituality is nothing to do with your looks. It's beyond your looks and this Maya, this illusory world. What would your ultimate party be? If you were to throw the party of your dreams, what would it be? Where people came and really realized their higher self. An atmosphere, a beautiful environment, a space where people came and realized themselves. Realize how beautiful they are. That would be ultimate party. See, like I told you, my purpose in life is to awaken the divine in every single person I meet in my life. For me, everybody is enlightened. They've just forgotten it. So, the purpose in life is to realize that. Um. You are watching Destination Luxury.